You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, freezing fat cells with cool sculpting. Uh, many people are avoiding liposuction and using cool sculpting to get rid of their unwanted fat on their body. Well, with us, we have an expert on the topic. Uh, she's well known in the desert, Dr. Doriana Cosgrove. Dr. Cosgrove, welcome to the program. Good morning, Randy. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me on your show. All right, great. So before we get into today's topic, because you do more than cool sculpting, who's the typical patient that you see and what are the different services you offer? So um, we have men and women, uh, all different ages. There are patients that want to improve the way they look and remove signs of aging and sun damage. Okay. We live in Southern California. We all have sinned with the sun. And um, we start with, we have fillers, all different laser procedures, uh, laser resurfacing, fractional laser, okay. cool sculpting, and we have estheticians um, on the team. We do chemical peels and all kinds of medical facials. Now we talked on the telephone and going into this, I told you, I said, I'm very skeptical on cool sculpting. And you know, I didn't believe really it works. And then I saw some of the before and afters, spoke to some patients, like I said, it actually works. And, and, and at the end of our one hour conversation, I told everybody in the studio, I said, I got to get over there, see Dr. Cosco. I'm doing it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in your place next week. So, Well, you'll be more than welcome. Especially now, it's a good time to come to the desert. Now, I guess there's <laughs> two types of ways, aside from traditional liposuction, to kill these fat cells. There's a heating element, and then there's the cool sculpting. You used to use the heating kind, and you switched over. So tell me about that. So in 2010, both Cool Sculpt and the True Sculpt, they both kind of came on the market about the same time. And I went towards the heat um, treatment, True Sculpt. And last year, after the new revolutionary changes in the hand pieces and more hand pieces being added to the machine, I purchased the machine in July of 2017. And the results are incredible. I'm very happy, and not only me being happy, <laughs> patients are very happy. They keep coming back for different areas, and the results that we have are amazing. Now, I know you brought a lot of photos, but what are the most common areas that you use cool sculpting on? So, patients come in, two most common areas are the chin, and the second one is the little pooch on the belly that um, a lot of us have, especially after having two, three children, yeah. um, have the little pooch that it's stubborn to exercise and diet, it's still there, and now we have the cool sculpt, and you so, can do that. Second most popular area is the abdomen. Okay. And basically the typical patient, um, mid 40s, 50s, a lot of them, they go exercise a lot, but there's that little one pooch uh, okay. that they cannot get rid of. Or the typical other patients that had children, and again, after pregnancy, kind of lose the weight and go to the gym. But again, that little stubborn area that you cannot get rid of. And maybe you don't see it a lot, but if you want to wear a form-fitting, tighter dress. Like a little go, black dress. A little black dress, go to a nice cocktail party, you see that little pooch profile. So, so you can flatten that right out. You can totally flatten that right out. The fat cells are gone. And um, recently, actually, uh, they came out with a 10-year study. Patients that had their fat removed 10 years ago, it's still gone. And they're working now on the 15-year studies. Good. Kind so, so it doesn't kill all the fat cells, but it kills a certain amount of fat cells. They're frozen. Then the body eliminates them through the body. Yes. And then they could come back and get another treatment. I mean, you could technically kind of keep going with this, right? Well, you don't have to do the same area. And that's kind of, once you treat that area, the patients have long lasting results. Okay. So you do two sessions for each area and kind of do it. What it happens when they see how good one area look, then they start to notice in the mirror different areas and that's how So who's they, doing this more, men or women? Very high um, incidence of women kind of doing it. Women do it a lot. 
and more and more men are coming to do it. And I have a lot of patients that are brought in by their wives or their wives come in, they do the treatment, they start to see the results and the men jump they drag on the, in their the wagon and they come in and they have it done also. So, so the men are mostly getting what, like love handles, abdomen, is that the most common area for them? So, and then the love handles. And, uh, and also what you, when we do the treatment, you have to be very careful on how to you do the treatment because a woman's body has more of the hourglass, the men's mm -hmm. body is more a trapeze. So you want to kind of make sure that you have, um, you pay attention to details. So what about arms? How well do they treat with cool sculpting? Arms are great. I live in the desert, so the temperatures can reach all the way up into the 120s during the summer, yeah. so everybody's wearing the tank tops, bathing suits by the pool. So that's like one area that is showing and really good results with a cool sculpt and also we get some skin tightening. And before cool sculpt, pretty much the only alternative was surgery. And with surgery, there's a huge scar all the way to the elbow and you can definitely, you cannot cover that. So with cool sculpt, it's non-invasive. There's um, no downtime and uh, minimal downtime, a little bit of redness and minimal swelling, and the results are great. Because some people, patients I guess, are very happy. I guess some people just genetically, they look pretty fit everywhere else. They just have fatty arms. Like, born, what is it? Like, they're just born with more fat cells in that area, and then you can kill those fat cells with the cool sculpting. So we kill the fat cells with the okay. cool sculpting. They get the skin tightening with it. And you never know. It can be a genetic. I have many patients say, yeah, my mom had it, my dad had it. And we treat it, and they love it. And um, I had a patient, and she's very happy to do it. She's been in the fashion design industry in the desert. And basically, she was saying that Coco Chanel, back in the 50s and 60s, came out with the little tank tops, but they were meant to be wore underneath because a woman was not supposed to show their arms. Okay. But now everybody's wearing the tank tops, and it would be kind of silly to wear long sleeves in the desert. So I had another patient, and she came in, we did the, her arm treatments, and then she started to go back in the gym and kind of start to even tone her muscles more and kind of show her arms more. She used to wear kind of three quarter sleeves kind of to cover that area. So it's really nice with the cool sculpt because it's n now the patients are back in the stores and they have to buy a new wardrobe and kind of modify their wardrobe. And so cool sculpting is very expensive then because it is. you got to buy new clothes and plan trips to Cabo and get a pool. All the bathing suits and all the, um, so yes, um, a lot of patients, they, and I have stories, they come dressed kind of frumpy at first and once we're done with the treatments and they start to see the results. They're showing off their arms all over town. Sure, our tank tops and bathing suits, so little sundresses, so it's really fun. So do you think that in the in the in sometime in the future that there'll be less liposuction and, and maybe cool sculpting will take over as a way to eliminate fat well especially for somebody that's very active um, and they have the social activities and work when you do the liposuction you have the downtime you have the general anesthesia when you have cool sculpt as an alternative you have no downtime, you can do the treatment in the morning, go to dinner at night, go to a party, go to the theater, so go no to work the all. next day. What about swelling and all those things? Now we have more, five different applicators for all the areas where before there were only few. With the, all the new applicators, there's increased comfort, decreased amount of swelling and bruising and tenderness after that. So, almost I would say too good to be true. It is. It is, it is know, really I, good. I read an article that said that uh, you know they interviewed men over forty, and they said, "Have you ever thought of getting liposuction?" And they said, "Like ninety-five percent of people have considered liposuction, but wouldn't do it because of the surgery." 
So this is that option. But I guess the, the challenge is they just don't believe it works. I mean, do you think that more people would do it if they just believed it? Well, uh, I, What's I th your take? I think that with previous machines until last year, the hand pieces were totally different. On the and, cool sculpting. On the cool sculpting. Okay. And they were a lot deeper. Um, they had side plates that mm -hmm. were treating the area. And there were variables with temperature and time with the vacuum applied. Okay. And now pretty much all the manufacturer took out all those variables. So in the past, I still have patients that had the cool scope done four or five years ago. It's like, I don't know if it works. And I explained to them the new technology, kind of the machine, how it works. They do it and they're extremely happy good, because good, they good. see the results. Now, a lot of people, uh, have had liposuction in the past. You say they get a little bit of lumps and bumps sometimes. You have a flat applicator that you could just lay on their abdomen, flatten out the stomach. And I know you have a photo, we'll show in a little while, but uh, that shows that. So we have the applicator right here. So this, this right here, um, I guess if we could show this, this just lays flat on their abdomen and it's just, it must hurt, it's freezing, right? Does it hurt? So, you feel it initially, yeah, but the freezing is actually numbing. Okay. So when I do injections, I always give patients a lot of ice to numb the area. So after about a couple of minutes that you have this on, you don't feel much at all anymore because the area is numb. So, no. Show me that, you have a photo there of somebody with a lot of lumps after liposuction. And they're just in the early stages of treatment and it looks pretty good. So I have this patient, she's wow. 78 years old. This patient has been in my practice for the last six years and kind of doing the Botox and fillers and laser. And as soon as she heard that I got the cool sculpt, she asked me, do you think you can do anything about my tummy? I had liposuction done a few years ago. Some lumps and bumps kind of left behind. And she had two treatments to she came in twice the office. We did the treatments, and she was extremely happy. And this and is like a late like, '70s abdomen. '78. Yeah, big difference. Big difference. So you can imagine so, now the younger patients, I guess, will treat even better, right? Yes. Is that true? Because also younger patients, the skin kind of retracts a lot better. We produce kind of more collagen. So with her also, you can notice that. After the treatment, the skin actually looked tighter and kind of it's flatter, tighter. She was very happy. Okay, so as I look at this, this before and after photo, so if she can go in for another treatment, a third or a fourth treatment, and it's just gonna hit, kill and kill more, more of those fat cells, and she'll get a more smooth look, right? Yes. Is that correct? Yes. So she can come back. She, she left uh, for the summer, kind of part of the snowbird uh, group. And when she's coming back, she, we can reevaluate and if she wants to kind of find us a little bit more and do a little bit more definition, you can definitely use the flat applicator and okay, we can kind of do it more. So what <laughs> other uh, areas? So um, kind of going back to the tummy, uh, this patient, she's in her mid fifties, three children and quite fit, exercises, good diet, doesn't eat bread, pasta. Okay. And, um, but she had the little pooch she wasn't happy with. And actually she went to see a plastic surgeon, said she's not a good candidate because she didn't candidate have- Candidate for liposuction. For liposuction. Okay. And because she didn't have enough fat. So kind of the idea with cool sculpt, can you pinch it? Yes, you can treat it. So we are able to pinch kind of the area on the abdomen and she had two sessions, two visits in the office and she looked 100% better. Wow, I mean, that, I mean that's a nice so result. It's a very nice result and she was happy and kind of starting to feel more confident and that's kind of, I had one of the patients say, I'm looking in the mirror in the morning. If yeah. I like what I see, I'm going to be happy and I'm <laughs> going to make everybody else around me feel happy. So we look at ourselves and if we're happy with what we see, then everybody's 
feeling better. So this woman, just two treatments, and she could get this kind of result? Two treatments, two months apart, and she got this result, and no downtime, and was able to resume her normal activities. And, and those fat cells like, are gone. I keep gone. bringing that up again, but they're... Well, as a sidebar, yeah. actually this patient gained about six pounds between the treatments. In this photo, okay. And But you cannot see that because those fat cells are gone. She still so looks good. She good, still good. looks good. 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 This is another patient that right. actually, it's a pretty nice story um, about her. She's 51 and kids have gone off to college and now started to pay attention to herself. And we started with Botox and some fillers and then the cool sculpt. First time she came into the office, hair was pulled in a ponytail, kind of sweatpants, loose top, because she didn't feel good of the way she looked. And we did the cool sculpt. She came back in the office about four months later. I could barely recognize her. Nice. Hair was done. She was wearing a nice dress, heels. We got in the room, hugged, and she was almost into tears. Almost made me kind of shed a tear too. That basically she's so grateful. She feels really good and she's very happy with the way she looks. And this is just the beginning. I mean, if she wants to continue the fat loss, she could not only, with diet and nutrition, she could do more cool sculpting procedures. Is that right? Absolutely. Okay. And as a matter of fact, she just came in the office about three weeks ago and we treated the bra fat. So nice. Nice. you can always. So it works on the back, like, that bra fat. Yes. Again, works, and it's really nice. And also, this is the same patient. Those are side view okay. uh, pictures, and those are back pictures. And you can see that it dresses and everything fits a lot better. And so that's the same patient, that before and after. Same patient. Interesting. And cool sculpting. It's really fun. So besides kind of looking better when she looks at herself, when she gets a nice dress, she looks great and she feels great. Okay. And that kind of showed the kind of the last visit when she came to the office. And she was all dressed up and dolled up. Looking good, okay. So here's another one. Patient is 51 years old. All right. Goes to the gym and she does the boot camp about three or four times a week, and there are the little stubborn areas in the back of her thighs, the little banana rolls. And we treated those with the, our friend, the flat handpiece, and she has uh, very good results. It smoothed out. It smoothed out, remarkable difference, especially if she loves to wear jeans. And okay. when she puts kind of the tight fitting pants on, you can see it falls better and looks a lot better. And now she's coming back and we're treating the side of her thighs and the inside. So basically, you can start big with the treatment. That's kind of the fun part with it. You can start with one area, you can start with 10 areas. And if the sky is the limit. But you can do one area, come back, do another area. So it's really, really fun. Okay, um, you can customize it to each patient. Now, I don't want to rush you, but we have time for a we couple more photos. And uh, this is patient. Uh, we treated her chin area. And again, she now she has a really nice jawline and the skin is tighter. So her whole face looks a lot more youthful and she's happy. So what areas haven't we talked about? Well, inside and outside of the thighs, the upper thigh, and especially the outside of the thigh, sometimes it's difficult with liposuction, not for cool sculpt. Okay. So you can treat the outside of the thigh, you can treat the like inside. Like that little saddlebag area? The little saddlebag that when you put a little tight fitting skirt or a dress or pants, jeans, you can melt that away, it kind of gives a really nice shape and pick it up and make it look a lot smoother. And so inside of the thighs and in the book, um, you have a picture of a patient that has 
fullness on the inside of their thighs, you can go to the gym. That's an area that it's really, really hard to get to. So again, 120 degrees in the summer, when the thighs kind of rub together, it's sweaty and it's uncomfortable. Now we can treat with cool sculpt. It's a lot nicer and also it feels better. It looks a lot better and the patients feel better. So freezing the fat, that's right. the new. So, so who should get this done? Like who's the ideal candidate? Anybody that has the little pooch, anybody that has a little bit of extra fat um, and they want to avoid general anesthesia or an invasive procedure. If you're busy with your daily life in the desert, they have golf, tennis, hiking, you can do the cool sculpt and carry on uh, with any activities that you have in plan. So kind of the spread um, of the cool sculpt treatments is word of mouth. And they tell each one other. of patients that we had, he came in for a treatment, did an area, very happy with the results, told his wife, the wife came in, she has started the treatments and even after one treatment she saw results. So now, about a month ago, they brought in their three daughters and they started to have okay. the treatments the now. Final message, we're out of time. Who should get cool sculpting? Anybody that is bothered by that little pooch, somewhere, arms, bra fat, flanks, love handles, um, abdomen, inner arm, and the neck, thighs, of and the neck, yes, uh, the most obvious one. Um, the neck, and basically if they don't want the downtime, if they don't want the general anesthesia, then they're a good um, patient for cool sculpt. I spoke to a, uh, a plastic surgeon in LA, does a lot of cool sculpting, and I said, I asked him the same question, and one of the, he said, Randy, if you're over 40, right, everybody over 40 has a little spot that they can't stand on their body, a little fat area. So he says everybody over 40, and of course the younger people. Do you recommend they get it done younger, like in their late 20s, 30s, like their arms, their chin or neck? I mean, do they get better results if you get them earlier? Well, if it bothers you, yes. If you do it earlier, you get better results because the skin responds a lot better. When kind of younger. the repair and the collagen, so. So how old can you be to do this? You can be as young as in your 30s if you're bothered by a little bit of fat. Um, the oldest patient that we had, is she's 78, and she was bothered by little bumps after liposuction. So it doesn't matter age. What it matters is, like, are you bothered by a little area or anything? When you look in the mirror in the morning, is there yeah. an area that bothers you? Then you're a good candidate. So freeze the fat. Freeze it. Get the cool sculpting. I want to thank you for coming on the show. Great stuff. Great to finally meet you after, uh, after all these years. And uh, we'll have to have you back because I know you do a lot of things at your center. So uh, they could come in, free consultation, get evaluated. Yes. And you let them know. Could you pretty much tell them right there, I think you'd be a good candidate, not a good candidate? Yeah, everybody gets a consultation when they come in. And uh, they are told if they're a good candidate or not. And yes. And, and, and you have a good time there, too. You have a sense of humor. We didn't see a lot of the sense of humor on the show, but you're a funny person. <laughs> we try. Do the patients think that uh, you, you guys have some fun in there? Oh, yeah, we always do. Okay, good. Always, it, it, and that's all about it. It's like you have to have fun. Now, your skin looks good. Thank and you. And I think I know your age, and you look years younger than age, so you're obviously dipping into all your stuff. Oh, right? yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I have to try them all. I have to know kind of the downtimes and kind of what the patients would experience. So I have to try every single procedure that oh. we do. Okay, good. Thanks for coming on the program. Very Thank you, Randy. You've been watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Uh, for now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.